Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing part two of my review of Guar's new album, A New Dark Age. Part one was me and my friend Billy Bohab going over each track individually. If you did not see that yet, go ahead and check it out. It's a good video. Uh, part two is going to be me actually going over the CD itself. Now I did make an error in my first review. I said the song Bored to Death was sung by... Lothar, it's actually sung by Pusty, so that was my error. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at the CD. So, here we have the actual CD itself. And to start off, I love the front art, uh, it, it just grabs hold of you. Now, if you notice, you don't see any words or the title of the CD or anything. Um, in most comic book circles, that's usually called a nude where you don't have like, like you have a cover and you don't have any words or anything on that so it's basically a nude cover which is kind of cool i don't know if that's an exclusive thing like to everybody who pre-ordered them and it, when they put them on store shelves they may actually have the logo and you know the name i don't know but i think it's really cool it gives the artwork a chance to you know pop and stand on its own so now that we looked at the front Look at the side, which is your standard CD side. You have, you know, the band's name and the album. You turn it around. It's a continuation of the front art where you get this nice design here. And you also get all the songs on the album. All right. You flip her around. Let's open her up. So now you have the CD itself, which is basically the same as the front. But now you have the Guar logo, and also the title of the album. Pop the CD out of here. And behind the CD, you get all this nice art here as well, which is just like almost like a golden yellow with like each of the band members and the chaos wheel, which is kind of cool. So now let's take the sleeve out. There we go. Now, there's a lot going on with this sleeve, so it's going to take a minute to talk about this, okay? First off, you got this nice piece of art here, you know, which is basically the front cover and the back cover, but there's a centerpiece here with this new guy in it. If you see right here, you know, you got the band right there. You got Bone Snapper. You got Sawbore. You got their tomb and the other chaos, but now... Real conversation comes on the inside. The inside's really cool, okay? Because, for one, I'm a big comic book junkie. So, to see them do, like, this style art in a comic book art is really cool. So, and they did it all in the comic book style. So, first you got this side here where um, they talk about the production. Um, with each band member, like Beefcake the Mighty here, not only does it tell you, you know, who they are, but it tells you exactly... What type of instruments they use, you know, which is kind of cool. Then you have this whole, you know, piece here. Now, here's where you get into some of the interesting stuff. The centerpiece here, all right? Uh, let's see if I could get this to stay for me, all right? So, you got this centerpiece here, and it names. Guar is, you know, Berserker Blather, which we all know, vocals and so. Pustius Maximus, all right? You got Ballsack the Jaws of Death. All right, Jizmac. Do, 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 do. Uh, you have Bone Snapper the Cave Troll, Beefcake the Mighty. Now, here's where it starts getting interesting Hyperman and Space Goat. Those are new names, so that's going to be interesting on this tour because I'm going to assume they're going to be introducing these guys. You know, you got Solborg Destructo again and Rival and Arch Enemy. So now. What it's looking like on this album is that they're introducing four new characters. So this should be interesting. And of course, Slave Pit is, you know, Michael Bishop, Brent Ferguson, you know, Michael Dirks, Brad Roberts, Bob Gorman, Matt McGuire, Casey Orr, and Margaret Rockley, I believe her name is. 
I apologize if I mispronounce it, but so this is really interesting. So it looks like they're, you know, once again, bringing in maybe four new characters. So that's going to be exciting on this tour. And then you have, you know, ball sacks information here. Guar, more Guar information. Each of the other band members. Uh, their thank yous. Their thank yous is kind of interesting because, you know, Guar thanks no one, but, you know, belligerently acknowledges. They got their crew. They got all the companies that support them, like Cathartic Creek, which does their whiskey, you know, uh, Liquid Death, and so forth. Then at the bottom here, they have a tribute to all the legacy characters. So that means everybody who's not currently with them is mentioned here, which is kind of cool. So you got, you know, Hunter Jackson, Chuck Vargo, you know, Daniel Stamps, you know, Dewey Roll. It got all of them, and it even has, of course, the late Corey Smoot and Dave Brocky. So I think that is a neat little tribute as well. Then you come over here, and this is them promoting their new comic, which I already have on the pre-order. Just Max Information, Guest Vocalists. So you got your list of guest vocalists. Over here, I forgot to mention, is tribute to all the artists who made this, you know, all this art possible. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on with this inner jacket. And I really like it. I like a lot of how they set up. So they're adding new characters. They're giving tribute to, you know, people who were with the band but aren't. So overall, th this is really neat. I really enjoy what they did here. And once again, this is why I always loved CDs, records, even cassettes. Because di digital downloading, yeah, it's cool. It might even be cheaper. I don't really know. But you can't beat a physical copy. You really can't. Because you miss out on all that. You miss out on all that cool extra information and pictures and you know some cds and stuff will also have lyrics to songs and stuff and you know there's just something about having a physical copy that can never be at least in my opinion be replaced by digital downloads and that's just my personal thought on it but anyhow that's my review of the cd of you know guar the new dark age i hope you liked it if you did you know leave a comment Subscribe, share, and hit a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.